Gabe, we're back. A ton of you guys have been asking me how you get low to no latency while recording. If you guys don't know, I make vocal presets on like underground artists and shit like that. And I demonstrate how to use them. And if you guys haven't seen them, you guys should definitely check them out. I'll link a little playlist up there. In all the videos, I show a demonstration of me using it. And you know, obviously there's like no latency, at least very low. And so many of you guys have been asking me how I do that. So I figured I may as well just make a video on it rather than explaining to everybody through DMs and shit. So first things first, I'm just gonna explain like why it's important to have low latency while recording. What latency is, if you guys don't know, it's pretty much just a delay between what you're actually saying and what you're hearing back in your headphones. So for example, if you're using one of my presets, there's a lot of effects on there, so there's gonna be some latency. Can't get rid of it fully, but I found a way how to get it down to like three milliseconds, which is practically nothing like you can't hear that difference i remember one time when i updated fl and it messed with my latency settings i couldn't even record music for like a week or two just because i didn't like the way it shit sounded because when you're hearing yourself with low latency you can't get that right flow you want you can't hit the notes that you want to do because it's so delayed and this was 16 milliseconds so realistically only a couple millisecond delay from three milliseconds but it adds up so much and it's, it's crazy but nonetheless i'm gonna show you guys how to do it and then i'll show you guys what it sounds like to use it with low latency <laughs> first things first you're gonna want to going to FL Studio. Mine is skinned, so if you do want to learn how to skin it, my friend has a little tutorial on that. I'll put down in the description for you. But anyways, it's really easy to do this. You just want to go over to your options and go to audio settings. What you're going to want to do is for your device, make sure this shit is at FL Studio ASIO or ASIO, whatever it's called. Put it on that shit. It's FL Studio's device mixer thingy. Depending on how strong your PC is, this is going to have a very big factor in it. You can decide what your sample rate is. So if you want really low, you can crank that shit all the way up. I don't suggest doing that. Uh, realistically, I think you get two milliseconds rather than three milliseconds. If you have a beast computer, then do that shit. But if you're running this shit off a laptop, you're not gonna be able to do that. And it's not really that worth it. I say the highest you should go to is the 96. Other than that, I usually rock with uh, 4,400. It's double that in milliseconds, but you're not really gonna notice it. If you're running this shit off the laptop, this is the best thing you could do. Don't put it the lowest one, you'll get 13 milliseconds. Do not do that. If you're running it off a laptop, and at that, a bad one, you can run 44,100. But if you got a beast computer, go to that 96. You deserve it. <laughs> okay, so one thing you're gonna have to change is your buffer length. This is pretty self-explanatory. You're gonna want this to be at the lowest amount possible. The higher you have it, the more buffer there's gonna be, and you know, there's gonna be more of a delay. For these, I just have it at default input, but you might have to change it, you know, depending on what, whatever your mic is. Make sure this is at 256 or whatever the lowest option is for you guys. So we're gonna go at the 96 right now. So pretty much where you're gonna be able to hear this is, for example, if we go into our mixer, and we're just gonna throw on one of our presets from my website, logarner.com. I got tons of presets for any underground artist you name it i got it anyways and boom that easy so i got the sofago preset all loaded up what i recommend is if you guys have autotune evo get rid of that shit get efx or autotune pro or any one of those they have a low latency option and that'll cut your latency down a shit ton as well even picture has a pretty low latency so if you're recording this shit all stock you're good to go to hear yourself it's really easy all you really got to do is go up here and then just click your mic mine's in one Na, 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 na. So we can hear ourselves. It's like instantly. So there's a few millisecond delay, but I can like full on have a conversation without stuttering at all. So there's no delay. It sounds really good, obviously, because the mix. Doing this will pretty much allow you to improve your flow, improve your melodies, improve pretty much everything about your music just by having the right settings. It's really helpful for me. So I figured I'd tell you guys because I don't know. You guys are awesome. So, but anyways, back out of autotune. Sounded beautiful still. Thank you guys so much for all the support. We're at 3.4K right now, which is fucking insane to me. I really appreciate you guys. And thank you guys so much for sticking around for this long. Make sure you guys hit that sub button. Make sure you guys press like if this helped you at any time during this video. I respond to almost every comment I get. Also, if you guys need any vocal presets or mastering presets, I got tons of those for you guys. I'm linking down in the description on my website, logo.com. I love you guys. I'm gonna catch the next one. I'll see ya. Bye.